what's up guys welcome back to mr tech boss in this video i have this really really let me rotate it like this really really old pc which i have right there i don't want to focus it because i'll lose focus there's the auto focus on this camera is not really good so here we go i hope it's clear i'm going to upgrade it with a gdx 750 ti and hopefully it works i got this just 15 days ago i ordered it and it came in 15 days with eight dollar shipping because i chose that one but anyways uh so without any further ado let's try to get it up on this desk yeah this one right here and without any further ado so let's turn this off real quick and just keep start disconnecting the wires from the back and i hope it works because some of these i have not you know compatible some of these have compatibility issues something like that but yeah they do have sometimes issues okay let's just shut it down and it works if it works i'm gonna later on upgrade it to windows 10 but keep in mind it only has three gigs of ddr2 ram but i'm gonna try to run fortnite the first game so without any further ado i mean let's so let's just get unplug things off let's unplug things off it and the gdx 750 ti has an end hdmi port uh which is really good this uh, computer originally doesn't because there's no i don't know why it's just old i don't think hdmi used to even be there that time but anyways let's start so okay there we go there we go it's off now plug it on to it and voila Whoa. this thing is heavy okay there we go So let me just rotate this camera. Uh, yeah, it is 60 FPS. Yeah. So, anyways, I'm recording at 1080p at 60 FPS for no weird reason. But yeah, this is a PC that we bought in 2009, and there we go. There it is. Let me show you the internals real quick, even closer. And I hope the I had to change it to my mom's phone because the DSLR was too heavy for this. So yeah, here is the packaging. Let's unbox it real quick. Boom. Just unbox it. Doesn't matter. I'm in a hurry actually. There we go. Got it out. And then hopefully, without any problems, I should be able to get this out. So boom. And I hope it works because these old PCs maybe not even some of them don't even support it. But I hope this one does and the power supply is only around 240 watts. That's what I think. But yeah, here we go. Here it is. The GDX 750 yeah, this is my first graphics card I've ever held in my hand. I don't know how this tickets to this. There we go. Spray for me guys. Should work. Otherwise if it doesn't, I might just buy a graphics card dock for my laptop. There we go. Oh, this is my first graphics card guys. Seriously. Oh, okay. it looks pretty decent in condition, as you can see. I mean, it's pretty decent. The little scuffs, and uh, there's an HDMI port, so that's great. But yeah, I hope it works. I have a screwdriver, hope that one works. But yeah, I mean, it, it looks pretty legit. It's the first time I'm holding a graphics card. So yeah, let's try to plug it in straight away. Okay, so I might need to do this. I don't know why they say it. But I'll just do it. And I don't want to damage this computer, obviously. Okay, so, oh, I thought really forgot about opening these. So let's just open these real quick. Yep, there we go. Okay, there we go. So let's see how it comes off. Okay, so I'm gonna open up two maybe. Yeah, two dual slot. Oh, there we go. One. And. Wait, what? Yeah, I don't know. It's just this way. That's how it works. Okay. Alright, I'm plugging it in for the first time ever. There we go, I got it in. And I have hopes that it will work. And I don't have any screw, so I might just put this on here. Wait, what? Yeah, let's see. I'll put a screw later on. But for now, I think we'll just have to do with this. 
how was it guys? Oh no. No, obviously not this way. There we go. Something like this. But I'll fix it on later if it works. I'll even like format this PC and just make it mine. Give my dad my own laptop. Hopefully if this works. So there we go. The upgrade is done. It was that simple. This does not require any external power. Yeah, and it automatically caught it in place. So without any, I won't put the side on and I'll just put it back on. So let me show you. Okay, hopefully it doesn't come out again. So let's see. I'm just gonna take it there and hope that it doesn't, and it works. So it's not the same, I'm gonna just hammer it. Hopefully, I don't have any problems there. Okay, guys. Okay, now I have to decrease the height of this thing. Just a second. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna put it, power it on. I'm not gonna show you the bottom because I want to see you guys to see the top. Okay, let's see. And I hope it works. I just need to hope that. So I'm gonna connect this. Oh. I don't, yeah, there's an HDMI port on the graphics card as well. So I'm just going to connect it to the graphics card for now. Wait, what? I don't know if I'm supposed to connect it to the graphics card. But I'm just going to do it. Anyways. And let's see. Let's power this bad boy up. And let me just plug all the things in real quick. This goes into the USB ports. Actually, there are a good number of USB ports here. So that's great. And okay, there we go. That's it. I might not see anything on the display because there's no driver on it yet. Oh, I did. Okay, it's doing something. Oh, it's starting Windows. Yeah, and the graphics card did start spinning without any problems. Ah, that's making me happier, but I'm not sure yet. Let me see if it's still recording. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. I hope it works. Now I need to download all the drivers. Okay, there we go. As you can see, the cursor is huge. So the power supply is powering this up, at least for now. As you can see, it's huge. That's just because it's... And now I'm going to put uh, Fortnite for installation and I hope it have enough space. And then after Salah I'll try to play it once and then that's about it. Okay, so before uh, when I used to try to open Fortnite it just used to give me an error but I hope it doesn't give that anymore. Okay, so the graphics, the desktop looks normal now. Let me see. Okay. If I do once. Did it already. So guys, I'm back uh, two days later. I'm really sorry for that. But I just watched one of the first videos and I had to type in some CMD command prompt cover commands and then just it fixed and the issue vanished. But um, it's already getting. A pretty good, I mean, a pretty good uh, FPS. I already played this game, but I'm really sorry. It just went as normal, like, um, as it would go on a normal laptop. I'm recording in 60 FPS just so you really get the hang, like, know how it works. I'm going to do this game and another game. It's called Driver San Francisco. As you can see, it's getting, obviously, 100 FPS at this part. Because there's nothing here, yeah. And here, as you can see, the icon, this guy is loading quite a bit late. But that's just because my computer, this computer has a hard drive in it, not an SSD. But when I fully upgrade it, when I fully upgrade it and it comes into my room, because this is not my room, uh, then obviously I'm going to uh, do those changes. And uh, I'm also going to upgrade the processor. I hope that works, because it's an LG A771 to 775 mod. But yeah, uh, this way it does sometimes doesn't even come here. But yeah, there are some problems. On, on default, it just shows these settings. And on these, I was getting pretty smooth FPS, but there were some dips. And that was just partially due to the processor being bottlenecking the 
bottlenecking the um, GPU. Obviously, the GPU can handle it. But yeah, there we go. As he comes back again, he doesn't even emote here. Yeah, there we go. He did this time. Let me just turn on the volume. As you can see, it's pretty silky smooth. And now let me just start up a match. Okay, let's just uh, do disco domination. So yeah, as you can see, it's pretty smooth. I'm getting around 70, getting 66 FPS. FPS, which is pretty decent. But the first time it does sometimes happen, the textures fail to load. But as you can see, this time it just feels normal. I mean, it's pretty smooth. Let's go there. And I'm not good at this game, just so you know. Okay. I'm getting quite a good FPS. Oh, I think, again, I ran into that problem. I don't know, let's just try to fix it by reloading the textures. Yeah, there's a problem with the textures, but that's not the problem with the laptop. That's just something with the textures. But yeah, I mean, I'm getting pretty decent FPS. I even played many games which didn't have these issues. But yeah, I'm getting silky smooth FPS. I don't know how to run. Yeah, there we go. Let's see. This might be good. But as you can see, this 10-year-old laptop, which has an Intel Core i, uh, Core 2 Duo. Okay, so yeah, that's just because of these problems. Forget it, guys. This is the this is how it runs. Now let me show you the second game. Okay. But yeah guys, as you can see it is also running pretty smooth. It might not be 60 FPS, but I don't know why. I just played it a few uh, two days ago. I was getting really good FPS. I don't know what happened today. Yeah, let me just show you the settings real quick. That's why. So let's go to the video. Oh, okay. Just turn all vertical, turn vertical sync off, and you might need to decrease it to 1366 by 768. But you can run it at uh, 1440. But I haven't tested it. So let's just go for this way. Let's see how how smooth it runs. Apply, and yes. Let's see if I drop it to 19. I mean 1366 by 768. Yeah, let's see this way. But I did play it at 1080p, I mean, uh, 1440 by 900. Okay, so guys, that's it for this video. If you have any questions or related to this or anything related to tech or even anything close that, you can feel free to leave it down in the description below. But uh, that's it for this video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And this is Fuzan Hamid from Mr. Tech Boss signing off.